Hello, I'm Matthew White, coming to you from Ingram Micro's Business Transformation Center. And today we're going to be talking to you a little bit about moderated unmute. So what is moderated unmute? Moderated unmute is allowing you to actually have the ability to mute and unmute people on their behalf. So if you're working with students on a regular basis, if you're working with people that just aren't very uh, used to using WebEx, this is a great new feature because it allows you to do the unmute and mute for them without having to have them be the one doing it themselves. So it gives you the ability to control it as the host and they don't have to worry about it anymore. Now this feature can be turned on and off, so we're gonna show you how to do that and we're going to show you how the admin turns it on for your organization as a whole and then how the individual users will actually go ahead and start using that in their meetings. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is log in as the administrator into admin.webex.com and then go over to meetings. Once you pull up your meetings, then you're going to click on your particular site that you want to edit and then configure site. Once you are into that, then you want to make sure you click on site options. And then you can search this area for moderated on mute. And then you can enable it here. So you can also make this be a moderated on mute mode by default if you wanted to. I'm going to leave that off for now. But you could also choose to turn that on if you're an educational institution that is using this type of feature all the time. And you want to make sure you update it. And then once you update, that should be on in your organization. So once you log into your site itself, you're going to want to make sure that you schedule a meeting. You can't do this as a personal room. So when you go into schedule a meeting, the first thing you're going to want to do is give it a title. And then from there, you can pick the date and time if you wanted to. But to get to this moderated on mute, you want to show the advanced options and then audio connection options. From there, you can see here you have this new option here to check, which is the co-host and host have the ability to unmute participants. That's your moderated on mute mode. So let's go ahead and just pick a date in the future so we can schedule this. And then schedule. And then from here, you could have your meeting down the road or I'm gonna actually click start meeting now. So when you look at this here, you can see that you have the start meeting icon. And then if you look in the top left corner here, you can see the moderated on mute mode icon, which tells people that they can be unmuted. And once you go ahead and start your meeting, in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see the participant button. Once you open up that, you'll see that you have this mute and unmute button, which allows you to mute and unmute people in your meeting. As I mentioned before, a great feature for those working with young kids, teachers, people that need work with special needs. This is a great feature to use. Thanks for joining another session of our tips for the WebEx users. And feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and check out some of our other videos that help walk you through some of the new features that have been released for Cisco's WebEx platform. Enjoy the rest of your day.